What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking all about Amazon Prime Day. Why it's the biggest day on the calendar for Amazon and how you can prepare for it as an Amazon seller. Let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, so just quickly before we get into the video, I've just come to edit this video and realize what a rubbish job I did at setting the sound levels for a new mic. I got a new mic for the camera just to try and improve the overall experience for you guys, uh, but the uh, I did a rubbish job of setting the settings. Uh, if you want me to get it better next time, make sure you hit that like button and I'll know. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Listen, if you're new here, this channel is all about helping you succeed by selling on Amazon, building great businesses, and using that money to free yourself up from the grip that money places over time. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, so you know exactly when I'm releasing videos that are gonna help you do exactly that. Now, in today's video, as I say, we're gonna be discussing Prime Day and how we as Amazon sellers can prepare ourselves for it. There's gonna be eight tips, eight great key keys for you to really implement in your business. Some of them will apply to you right now, some of them may not, but they're gonna be really, really helpful. Make sure you do stick around to the end because I've got a bit of a surprising one at the end which will really, really help some of you, I know for sure. Now, uh, it's the middle of June, so we know that uh, the soon Prime Day is coming, right? Prime Day is approaching thick and fast. Amazon do this thing where they don't sort of announce the exact date of Prime Day until, uh, you know, until closer to the time. Uh, but this article up here suggests that actually the date is going to be 15th, 16th of July, which is coming up just in a few weeks' time. Now, if you know anything about Amazon, you know that they don't do anything by halves. So Prime Day is not actually a day. It's more like a sort of a 36-hour period. I say that. could be more this year because a couple of years ago, it was like a 30-hour period. It just kind of keeps on growing. Soon it'll be Prime Week. Of that, there is little doubt. Now, Amazon's stated aim for Prime Day is to reward their most loyal customers. Prime customers, on average, spend far amount more per year than any other customers. And so Amazon want to uh, reward them, but really they want to keep them because the more Prime members they have, the more revenue they have. And so Prime Day is really a way of saying, look, we're going to give you guys the best deals, the most exclusive deals, and uh, you know just create this buying frenzy. The reality behind a lot of that is that actually Amazon's slowest month on record before Prime Day really took prominence was around the sort of the June, July period. It's equidistant between the you know the, the end of Christmas and the beginning of quarter four, which is really just a month at the beginning, uh, which begins on Black Friday. And so that is uh, traditionally Amazon's biggest time of the year. And so they uh, created Prime Day to yeah reward their their members, but also to really manufacture some of this uh, you know a, a spike in sales in what is usually a quiet time. But of course, as with anything else Amazon do, when they do things to generate traffic, generate momentum, we as sellers can really benefit from that. So in today's video, I really wanna run through for you what are some things that you can do in your business when selling on Amazon to really prepare yourself for a great Prime Day. Now, a disclaimer, there may be some people watching this channel that there may be some of these aspects that aren't applicable to you right now. Either you're just starting out or, or you know, just because of the context of your business, they're not particularly applicable, but what I will Will say is this is a great time to learn because these uh, these tactics these strategies are all going to be applicable for other busy holiday periods like Christmas like quarter four Black Friday Cyber Monday and then the whole of December is an absolute crazy time on Amazon let me know in the comments below if you want some of my top tips for Q4 uh, a video to be made about that I'm thinking you know I, I want to get something out about that soon because it's never too early to start preparing for Q4 in our business we're already preparing stock and inventory for Q4 so uh, yeah if you want me to do that let me know in the comments below so what can we expect as Amazon sellers on Prime Day simply put more traffic and more sales. That's what we should be expecting on Prime Day. Now, of course, this doesn't automatically guarantee exponential growth in sales, but Prime Day has been, over the last couple of years, Amazon's number one gross selling day of the whole year. Bigger than any Christmas days, bigger than Black Friday or Cyber Monday, is a concentrated day of incredible volume of sales. And so as Amazon sellers, we can expect greater traffic and greater volume of sales. The question is, how do we position ourselves to make the most 
out of it. Just to give you an idea, here are the sales from one of my UK accounts last year, which shows you in the run-up to Prime Day, which last year was 16th of July, you'll see on the run-up to Prime Day, the, uh, the, you know, the amounts that we were doing were in this sort of four, five hundred pound region per day. And then you see on Prime Day, 16th of July last year, you see we actually did nearly 900 pounds on this account. And uh, you know what's interesting to note is that after Prime Day, the sales actually grew too. So they didn't go back to the original amounts that you'll see before Prime Day, but they actually grew uh, you know, after Prime Day. And now that's really important and really key to note. And I'll talk about why that is in one of the points in a moment. We didn't do anything crazy to prepare for Prime Day. There wasn't any lightning deals we ran or anything like that. Uh, we just employed the eight strategies that I'm going to talk you through right now in varying forms. And a quick disclaimer I would say is that, that some of these will apply to you right now and some of them might not to some degree. Some of them might be things that you implement a little bit, but not as crazy as others might, uh, depending on the context and the position of your business depends on how you might implement these but I wanted to give you a full list of tactics strategies and tips that you could use on Prime Day to skyrocket your sales and you can then apply them based on your context but as I said they will apply for things like Q4 giftable other giftable seasons like Father's Day Mother's Day etc and uh, you know and so on so uh, here we go let's get into the eight different strategies that I recommend to maximize sales on Prime Day. Number one, of course, is to be in stock, right? Uh, is to have stock available. Now, it may be a little bit too late for you to be able to get new stock in. Maybe some of you can airship some stock in in order to be in stock for Prime Day. But it goes without saying, if you really want to take advantage of the extra traffic and the extra volume on Prime Day, then it's important that you are in stock for your best selling items. So if you can get some extra stock in, um, you know what some sellers may choose to do is sort of increase their prices, decrease their PPC budget things like that which I wouldn't always recommend because it can negatively affect your ranking but you might want to have a think about what you could do to ensure that you have uh, you know optimal opportunity to have a great day on Prime Day and obviously that begins with having stock number two consider optimizing your listing now it kind of again goes without saying that really to sell on Amazon to the, to do the best you possibly can on Amazon your listing should be optimized. What does that mean? Good photos, good copy, key you know the right relevant high traffic keywords are in your listing. You know infographics that kind of uh, you know sell the, the 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 benefits of the product, not just the features, but the benefits for the consumer. Uh, you know things like enhanced brand content, things that really do make that listing super super optimized. Of course your price, of course having some good reviews all of those things really do help optimize your listing but during high traffic times like prime day it's really good practice to go back through your listing and just check that you are indexed for your the right keywords that you have high traffic and high re highly relevant keywords in your listing maybe spruce up those photos if you haven't had the chance to do it yet maybe now is the time to do it to make sure you are as optimal as you can possibly be. I use Helium 10, I use Index Checker to make sure that I'm indexed for all of my main keywords. I use Cerebro to uh, do a reverse ASIN lookup on my products to make sure that I'm ranking as high as I possibly can be for the highly relevant and high traffic keywords. And then once I've done those, I may actually consider running some Facebook promos, some discounted products in order to increase ranking in the run up to these high traffic events. Again, a lot more applicable during Q4 because it is an extended period of time a longer period of time but you may want to do what you can to make sure that you are as visible as possible on prime day number three of eight is to consider your pricing at these times of the year we can get tempted into thinking that actually I need to reduce my product uh, my pricing drastically in order to compete with these crazy deals that Amazon is running but actually what I find is is sometimes the opposite of that but and because of this increased traffic and because of this uh, impulse nature that is around as people are making purchases that we can actually increase our prices a little bit just to eke out that extra little bit of margin so uh, you know unless you're selling trying to do you know 10x your revenue on Prime Day if you're just looking for a little bit of a boost a little bit of a spike then uh, you know maybe consider increasing your pricing just maybe 10% or, or a small amount in order to you know just increase those margins cover any extra ad spend you may have and uh, you know because of the nature of people buying on the platform on that day you may well see that actually your conversion rates do increase crazily enough right number four is a real juicy one when it comes to prime day we're talking about uh, maximizing sales and one of the great ways you can maximize sales is by running advertising on 
Amazon, advertising on Amazon. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this. This one will be meaty, right? Sorry to all the vegans, it's going to be meaty. And so we are, you know, the first thing you can do is you can run a lightning deal. Bad news is it's probably too late now, unless, unless you've got some kind of special access. I checked on my account and it's too late for me to run a lightning deal. Not that I would because they are so expensive on Prime Day, um, but it's too late to do that, right? So what are our options? Right? N number one option that everyone should be doing is running vouchers on your listing. Uh, they're called coupons in the US, they're called vouchers in the UK, and those are the little sort of orange or green, Amazon's always testing the color, those little uh, flash things underneath the listing that say save 10% or save two pounds or save five pounds, whatever the amount may be. Uh, and I would encourage everyone to be running those on Prime Day because people are inherently gonna be looking for discounts. They're coming to Amazon on Prime Day, primed, get it, uh, for a discount on Amazon, right? That They want to get a discount. So if, if you have a discount on your product, on your listing, it's going to greatly increase the chances of a conversion on your listing, right? So I would encourage everyone to do that. If you're saying, well, Ben, that's going to affect my margins and I can't afford to do that. What I would say to that is if you're selling your product for, say, £20 and you want to run a 10% discount or a £2 off discount, I would say try increasing your price to £21.95, something like that, but then having the voucher on the listing because that is going to really increase, uh, A, your click-through rate. It's really going to help your click-through rate when you show up in the listings, but it's also going to help your conversion rate because, again, everyone is trained to be wanting discounts and uh, you know something on offer on that day so number one make sure you're using vouchers and coupons similarly I would encourage you to make sure that you are making use of things like multi buy discounts if applicable if you're able to uh, I would definitely recommend running something like a buy two get 10% off or buy two get 5% off even you know even 5% off when you buy two again it does help conversion rates it does help to bring those customers in again they're gonna see there's a promotion there's gonna see there's a deal it's prime day I'm prime for some sales baby and so uh, make sure that you uh, you know look into that you can run one of those by just uh, setting that up in the advertising section of the seller central account all right and then the, the final thing when it comes to advertising on Amazon is your PPC now Different people will have different strategies with this and different people might suggest different things. One thing you can do, of course, is you could create a prime day campaign in your PPC section, in the advertising section of your account. You could uh, put your products in there. You know, you might want to put all your products or divide your products up by campaign or ad group, however you want to structure it, but put your manual keywords in there as prime day, prime day deals, prime day discounts, all those kind of things. And, uh, you know, what I would say is it's worth doing uh, to test. Uh, you know, is it can be very hit or miss at times. You know, I've done it in the past and it has been a bit hit or miss. What I would recommend is actually setting the bid relatively low. Don't go crazy high on that bidding. Otherwise, you will blow through that budget. The traffic on Amazon on that day is going to be massive. So um, it's something you can do, but test it and tread carefully. One thing I would most certainly recommend is ignoring the advice Amazon gives you. Now, Amazon's goal purely is to make money. And uh, I just got the emails yesterday that said to me, you know, our recommendations for Prime Day is you know, increase your budget, increase your bid at least two times. I'm like, no freaking way. Like it's hard enough at times to keep ACOS down and keep PPC profitable just doing normal bids, let alone when you do 2x bids. That is crazy talk. And obviously Amazon are trying to hype up the PPC sort of section and uh, they want to make more money, right? And so, you know, fair play to them. Uh, but I would advise ignoring in that advice and actually um, you know I, I, what I, my strategy is for PPC is I actually increase my um, you know budget for the day but I don't play around with the bids at all firstly I don't want to mess up the optimization structure that I'm going through with my bids because I you know spend a long time optimizing the bids to make sure they're at the right levels so I don't want to mess around with that too much um, you know just for one day especially but what I do want to do is I want to increase that budget now, what most people will do is that they will follow like sheep. They will say, oh, I'm going to need to increase my bids. And therefore, you know, instead of paying one pound a click, they might be paying two pound a click. And if they set their budget to 20 pound, rather than getting 20 bit of clicks, they're going to get, only get 10 clicks. Given the fact that there's more traffic on Amazon on Prime Day, those clicks and that budget is going to get blitzed through really, really quickly. So what we can do is if we leave our bids the same and actually are, are paying less for our bids, uh, what it means is that we can actually clean up on the traffic that 
comes after everyone else runs out of their budget. Amazon works on a 24-hour budget system. So if by 9 a.m., 10 a.m., loads of other sellers have actually used up all their budget, then I'm going to have the budget left that's going to actually win me the bids on the lower bids for the rest of the day. And I'm going to be paying the normal amount, but I'm going to be getting uh, traffic that has increased um, you know, impetus to buy products. So uh, that's my strategy and what I would recommend for you. But of course, it's worth testing, worth, worth having a play with. Now, remember how I said early on that actually the sales after Prime Day for us last year on that account, they actually grew after Prime Day um, from in comparison to the days before Prime Day. And now, the reason for that is Prime Day is an incredible opportunity to see not only a spike in revenue, but a spike in keyword ranking. And PPC is where our real opportunity lies to create and manufacture some of that is by getting some really solid amounts of sales on those main keywords. So really um, focus in on how you can use that PPC in order to generate more sales on Prime Day and then generate more ranking for your keywords, which is that which is actually going to then benefit you not just for one day, uh, Prime Day, but it's going to benefit you in the long run after that too. So worth considering there. All right, number five, fifth tip, fifth strategy I'll give to you is advertising off of Amazon. Advertise off Amazon. We talked about advertising on Amazon, but also it's well worth considering advertising off Amazon. And what do I mean by that? Well, simply you have a customer list or hopefully you're building one and they're already expecting that Amazon is going to run deals on Prime Day. So it wouldn't be too far from uh, what is seen as normality for you to say, look, hey, is Prime Day coming up? You know, email your list or send them out a message on your messenger list or however you contact your customers and say, hey, guys, uh, you know, is Prime Day on Amazon? And to celebrate, we're running this deal, that deal, that deal. You know, link back to the previous um, point that I talked about, the voucher or the multi-buy discounts, whatever those promotions may be, you can point them back. And again, it's a really great way to get some repeat customers, repeat purchases, and increase your ranking too. Point number six of eight, we are blasting through these now. Point number six is a small one, but it could be significant. And that is to plan your diary, right guys? It's prime day, prime day. It's a big day in the calendar for Amazon. So what I would recommend is trying to make sure that you are available on prime day, right? You can be around a computer you can keep an eye on your campaigns if you set a high budget you want to be able to keep an eye on what's going on if you don't want to increase it too much you might want to watch it and see when it goes out of budget so that you can increase your budget and start showing again straight away different things like that that you're going to want to consider and uh, you know so whilst you don't have to be glued to your desk it's not like something where you're going to be like making trades all day or anything crazy like that um, what I would suggest is maybe don't go climb a mountain on Prime Day you know be available be around us point number six all right tip number seven just two more to go is to aim for customer retention again this might seem like an insignificant one but amazon designed their whole prime day approach around customer retention you know it's obviously about a spike in sales that's what they want to generate revenue but more than that for them it's about long-term revenue amazon are the masters at playing the you know initial loss game jeff bezos has gone on record to say here that he is always willing to provide a loss leader something that leads with a loss something that begins with something that doesn't really make money because they know on the back end they can keep that customer customer retention and if they can keep that as a prime customer they know on average they spend around 1200 pounds a year and for x amount of years they know they've got that customer right so they don't mind losing a bit of money on prime day and uh, you know really aiming for customer retention and so what i would encourage you as uh you know as a seller on amazon is to take a leaf out of amazon's book and learn from this and realize that actually my efforts on this day should also go towards customer retention well how can i do that well you can do good customer uh, you know good customer service if there's ever an issue after prime day you can actually follow up those customers and make sure you do really good customer service you can make sure that you follow up those uh, those um, sales with some great discount offers you know in your follow-up emails um, you know i use helium 10 for my follow-up emails and you can actually put a discount in there and say look we want to give you a discount for this product uh, after you bought because you know as a loyal customer please come back we want to give you a discount right that's what you can do in there and things like that just to keep an eye on customer retention don't just give up the the ghost and think oh it's all about amazon and i'll only ever get sales when amazon give them to me no we've got to be about building a brand building a customer list and actually marketing to them right we're not just people that sell on Amazon. We are marketers by trade. So think about how can I get some more customer retention? All right, guys, we are there. Point number eight, tip number eight for Prime Day is this. Don't waste money 
on things you don't need. Don't waste money on things you don't need, right? Okay, so this isn't strictly Amazon FBA related, but you've come this far, so let me get this off my chest. It's a worrying financial world we live in at times. You combine the you know increased level of desire for that instant gratification along with the ease of access to you know credit and debt, and it's really a, a harmful, harmful mix when we don't have any self-control over what we spend. It's so easy to spend that money, and so I just want to encourage you as someone who's building a business that aims at being profitable to you know transform your life give you that financial freedom then you know you're not going to be able to do that if you're someone that just impulse purchases right and if you need something go out and get it right like if you need it I'm not against spending money if you need something prime day is a great day to make a discounted purchase but but remember if you don't need something and you only go out and buy it because it's on discount for instance if you bought something because it was 300 pounds and it's now 200 pounds like you didn't save 100 pound you spent 200 pounds right that needs to be our mentality mentality with Prime Day. So little personal finance thing, right? I know it's not Amazon FBA related, but I hate seeing where people put so much work into building a business to give them profit only to waste that money and not use that money in wise ways to actually provide a secure financial future for themselves. So, all right, lecture over. Shut up, Dad. That's enough from you, all right? Awesome. Well, I hope you have the most amazing Prime Day ever. Um, if you're excited for a great Prime Day, make sure you hit that like button below because it helps other people see this content to help them to build great businesses that are going to free them up from the grip that money places over time. Remember, if that's something you want to do make sure you do subscribe by hitting that face next to me and then hit subscribe with notifications on and if you do need some help with ppc um, we talked a lot about that in this video then make sure you check out the introductory videos to ppc that i did just up here all right i'll see you in the next video real soon